<clears throat> uh, Matt Butcher, welcome. Welcome to Home Park. It's good to see you here. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, made the journey down yesterday, um, and it's a nice sunny day for signing. So um, yeah, very excited. Always makes it better, doesn't it? When, yeah. there's, when, there's, when the sun's out. Um, first signing of the summer, of course, as well for Argyle. First through the door. It's a little tick for you already. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I asked to uh, come the day after the first fitness testing day, um, but now I managed <laughs> to get in before the whole of pre-season. So it'll be good to um, obviously get to know the lads and, um, and meet everyone properly tomorrow. Why Plymouth? Um, speaking to the manager, um, and I obviously know the assistant well from playing with him, um, and their kind of um, thoughts and ambitions um, really mirrored mine, and that was important. Um, I've obviously played against the club and um, seen how well supported it is, and um, even the away support was was amazing when they come up to a, um, come up to a Accrington last season. Um, and it's always been a dream to play for a, a big club, and uh, yeah, just can't wait to get started now. Yeah, you mentioned um, having played against Argyle a couple of times last season. Remember the one here. You know, what what was it about the sides when you were playing in those games that you were looking at that you thought you could really fit into? Um, yeah, the style of play was obviously a big um, kind of drawing point uh, for me. Um, they get into great pockets and uh, and the midfield worked well together. Um, and it was quite difficult to kind of pick up men in pockets like um, hopefully I can do. Um, on the opposing team rather than uh, trying to chase around, uh, trying to stop that. So it was obviously tough um, games against them. We haven't had too much joy um, when we've come here, which is another thing. Um, obviously want to be part of a successful team. And, um, and, and yeah, hopefully we can do that this season. Our goal last season had a, a great year, just missed out on those playoff positions, maybe went above what people thought at the start of the season. Um, it's obviously going to be similar potentially again this year around looking towards the top end of the the division, that's something you're excited about? Yeah, um, like I said previously about um, the coaching staff and the players uh, mirroring my own ambitions. I think um, everyone here and everyone that I've spoke to so far um, has its has their sets, uh, sights set on on one thing and that's um, if we can get into the championship. Um, so the quicker we can kind of get together and it's obviously nice to, to sign before pre-season so we can, um, I can get that drilled into myself and what he wants from me and, and as soon as we know that we can start um, looking to implement that in games and, and winning football matches. You mentioned pre-season, it does start tomorrow. It's always like the hottest day of the year whenever it starts as well. Um, have you had a good break? Have you had a good rest after a, a big one last year? Yeah, I think that's important. Um, obviously, you played a lot of football um, last couple of years, um, so you can't obviously take your take both eyes off of um, of your fitness and stuff. I'm pretty active anyway, so um, but it's nice to just get back and see family and, and, and stuff like that that you obviously don't get a chance to do in the season when uh, the games are coming thick and fast. And just to kind of be in before the start of preseason and have a full run of it, like you've said, just in terms of not kind of the football side of things, but just the, the dressing room side of things and getting to know the lads, how key do you reckon that'll be for you? Yeah, I think it's massive. Um, obviously, speaking to the to, to the manager and the assistant, they said that the, the, the group togetherness is is massive and that was probably a big part of um, the success last season. So, um, obviously, if you can get her as early as possible and be a part of that and, and buy into that, then that can only be good going forward and um, hopefully I can um, fit in well. Let's talk about you for a bit. You as a player, spent the last couple of seasons up in Accrington, who always seems to do amazing things in this division. Um, how did your spell there kind of aid your development, do you think? Um, yeah, I loved it. It was probably the um, the most I've played consecutively. Um, so that was important for myself to kind of tick off um, a good two seasons worth of football. Um, played in a couple of positions in midfield. I think I can um, I can play in various systems. Um, and I'm a player that kind of um, plays with a lot of energy, likes to get around the pitch um, and hopefully can chip in um, with help and uh, score and assisting goals. Yeah, I was looking through a highlight reel of some of... Your performances before doing this, obviously, there was one goal in particular which was left footed banger into the top corner. Expect a few more of those, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've set, uh, set me up high there, yeah. Um, yeah hopefully, um, I've always been someone um, that likes to confine a yard and, and, and get a shot off. Um, I spoke to manager, and I think that's something I can improve on, um, kind of arriving on things and, and little finishes and stuff. So, um, if I can improve on that, then um, I'll always back myself to kind of um, be involved in um, shots on target and stuff like that. Before Accrington, it was Bournemouth few loan spells in there as well talk to me about your early football years you know what who did you look up to as players that you maybe looked to model yourself on or wanted to emulate and and how did you see your progression in the early years of your career yeah I think very early um obviously grew up in Portsmouth and watched a lot of um, Matty Taylor the left left mm. footer um well, he scored some good goals yeah, exactly yeah yeah <laughs> so if I can copy him that'd be right um growing up obviously getting a bit older um you look at people like Lampard that could score that many goals from midfield um um, he was obviously a big um, 
big part of my childhood, watching him and seeing how he gets into the box, seeing how he arrives on things, types of finishes, stuff like that. Um, so them two are the probably main ones growing up um, who I looked up to. And being at Bournemouth, you know, as they rose through the leagues and kind of would have had great players, pros around you, coaches, what, that must have been a pretty n- nice, good sort of grounding for you and, and an environment to learn. Yeah, that was massive um, for me, obviously, uh, especially seeing a group of players that um, really the togetherness was what made them successful and got them to the Premier League, um, along with seeing how a uh, town and a, a group of supporters mm. can really galvanise and, and push the team on to um, succeed. Um, I think that's the best way of um, getting to the next level personally, being a part of something um, where everyone's on the same page, everyone's bought into the same sort of values and style of play. Um, so that was a massive, obviously, selling point for the club, and um, which is why um, I made the decision to, to come down here. I'm guessing possibly another reason was Hughesy, Mark Hughes. He played with him at, at Accrington. Do you have any conversation with him over, over the summer at all? Yeah, I spoke to him a couple of times. Um, obviously know him well, so um, it's always difficult speaking to new people and um, judging their character and stuff. But as soon as, obviously, I know him and how close he was to the manager, um, they basically sung off the same sheet and they... And as soon as I knew that he was involved, I could trust what obviously everyone was saying and, um, and, and, and could really get on board. Just, just finally, away from football, and what's, what's Matt Butcher like? Um, pretty relaxed, to be fair. Um, quite enjoy cycling and golf. Okay. Um, sometimes too much um, in the summer. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I try and stay pretty active. Um, quite like the countryside. There's loads of that, uh, that around here. Nice walks with the, um, with the girlfriend. Um, she'll hopefully be coming down. Um, and obviously starting a, seeing a new part of the country as well. Are you good at cycling up hills? Um, there's a lot I prefer downhill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, yeah. The, the, um, you only get to go down if you're up. So yeah, I don't mind an uphill climb. The reward. Well, lovely chatting to you, Matt. Yeah. And uh, best luck tomorrow in pre-season. Yeah. And we'll see more of you right there. Uh, in the coming year. Thanks very much.